So I guess it all really started with a broken drink machine. Hey, Clayton Bates here, and in today's video, I wanted to share the story of myself, Clayton Bates, Inspire Small Business, and the three companies I've owned. Now, if you watch all of this video, hopefully I can inspire you uh, to go after your dreams and maybe give some tips on uh, just business in general and give you a good understanding of myself and Inspire Small Business. Inspire Small Business is a registered Shopify expert. It's actually very rare to be a Shopify expert. There's only about 30 in Australia, 500 in the whole world. Considering there's tens of thousands of agencies that build websites, that's a very low number. We've helped generate tens of millions of dollars back into small businesses across the world. I'm guessing if you are watching this, you have a small business. Uh, so we've helped people just like you. And I guess it really, to get the good understanding of this business and myself, we have to go back all the way to the start sort of thing. And definitely for me, in the three businesses that I've actually had, it definitely all started one day when a drink machine was broken. So at high school, I went to the drink machine, I put my money in and seven cans fell out and I sold all seven cans in five minutes. And something in my brain was like, hey, maybe I could sit next to the drink machine at school and sell drinks for cheaper than the school. So for three or four years, I actually did that I made tens of thousands of dollars uh, selling uh, drinks at high school and it really started me on this path of small business sort of thing. I actually only went to year 11 because I wanted to study business studies and something that's really stuck with me even to this day is that the teacher at my high school teaching business studies had never actually run a business which I thought was very interesting and it's definitely shaped the way I look at some things in the world. Fast forward a few years. Um, oh, sorry. One thing before that is when I actually left high school, I was actually earning less money at my full-time job than I was at high school to give you some sort of idea and context around what I'd actually built at high school. Then I went in and did a few jobs for five, six years. And one day I noticed some trading cards in a, sh in a shop. And I really loved trading cards, especially sports trading cards when I was a kid. And I thought, oh, I might collect these. And then a uh, little bit later, I thought, oh, how cool would it be to actually sell these? And a lot of people don't actually know this about me, but I've generated $100,000 in sales of trading cards. And some of these trading cards can be worth quite a lot of money, especially if you're in the US. Uh, Australia is not as big as the US, but US is like very, very big numbers you can actually sell trading cards for like a little bit of cardboard. I actually love that business. I had a kiosk for like three years. I uh, had a bit of a break, made a little bit of uh, like, uh, uh, I relied on uh, one source of income too much when I had that business. And I learned that you have to really diversify because it really took a hit. I had to stop doing it for a couple of years. And then I basically started to do it on the side of my full-time job for a few years. Absolutely loved it made tens of thousands of transactions, sales, stuff like that. I was very um, big on like making sure the experience for the other person opening the package was very good. So I always thought I was one of the best people in the whole of Australia that packaged their order. And when someone opened it, it was definitely always not damaged. Um, it was a very good experience when they opened it. I used to even write little handwritten notes on the back of my business card to people because I really believed in that experience. I still remember some YouTuber, he actually bought uh, a few different packages from different businesses and you know, most of the people didn't really care. And then like when he opened mine, it's like, oh, whoa, he like wrote my name and like handwritten message and stuff like that. So I think those type of things are really important. And I remember in 2014, I actually approached some people to uh, build a website for me. And I thought, should I spend the money that they're quoting me on stock or on the website? And I decided to buy the stock and learn how to build a website myself. It was, it took a long time to learn how to build a website, probably six months to two years. And I still wasn't um, a pro at building websites by any chance. And I realize now that if I actually hired some of those agencies, I would have made 
two hundred, three hundred dollars extra. Uh, sorry, two or three hundred thousand dollars extra in my business if I actually hired like an expert to rebuild my website. But I guess I wouldn't be where I am now if I had done that. So everything sort of worked out how it was meant to work out. In 2017, I went to Bali, tried to like find myself. I had a really good job. I had this side business selling trading cards. Everything was going good sort of thing. Um, 2017 was actually one of the best years of my life. I met someone working in, in Bali um, and they really inspired me that I, I could do anything. Like they really opened my mind to um, the possibilities sort of thing. And I don't think they even realized like what, how much they impacted my life. And I come back to Australia and I was pretty miserable for like the next year. <clears throat> I hated going to my job. I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And I sat down one day and I, I tried to work out what I really liked about my card business. Uh, I was a bit burnt out. But I really like building the website. So I thought, can I make an agency building websites? Like, is this possible? And I resigned from my job. I started my agency, Inspire Small Business. I basically wanted to inspire the 2014 version of myself in 2018 sort of thing. And I started to go on Shopify community forum, giving people feedback for free. Um, I think I posted in there a thousand times in a year, just giving people free advice and Shopify, one of the bosses there seen, um, me sort of thing. And they asked me if I wanted to be a Shopify expert. And I remember when I first started my business, I watched this video on YouTube. I should link it somewhere, um, where this guy was talking about what it's like being a Shopify expert. And I always thought I'm going to be a Shopify expert no matter what. And I tried to find out how to be a Shopify expert and they'd close down their program. They wouldn't let, they weren't letting any new people in, but something in my brain was like, one day I'm going to be a Shopify expert no matter what. And after a year, Shopify actually reached out to me to be an expert. And it was because I'd given so much free value uh, in the community, nearly a thousand posts in a year, just giving free, free advice. And this is one thing that I really believe in is if you put out really good things into the world and expect nothing in return, those good things will come back to you. So, you know, little things like that, like I really believe in doing stuff like that. I went through this long process of trying to be a Shopify expert. I had to do all this stuff. I'm not sure if it's the same now, but I had to give examples of sites, how I'd help people, things like that. I'd got all the way to the end after two or three months and they pretty much said normally we would not allow someone like you to be a Shopify expert but you've given so much free value into the community you, we can see that you really want to do really good things in the world so we're going to give you a chance just don't let us down this was at in 2019 and to this day I still have not let them down I'm still one of the only registered Shopify experts in Australia I think there's 30 in Australia 500 in the world which I was sort of saying before there's not very many people that actually are Shopify experts. A lot of people claim they are, but they aren't actually registered, authenticated Shopify expert sort of thing. Um, and when they made me that expert, I really thought I got to try to be the best I can be. So I, I learned more about Shopify, I try to make better websites, better websites. We're always trying to improve and make better websites for you and anyone we work with sort of thing. And to this day, We've generated tens of millions of dollars of extra revenue back into small businesses uh, just from doing website redesigns. We've literally changed people's lives. We have like 100 five-star reviews. All this stuff, I'm super proud of that this happened. Um, you know, like someone making $1,000 a week and then we rebuild their website and they're making $7,000 a week. Like these type of things are life-changing. We've had clients ring me up crying on the phone that we've literally changed their life and their business. And it's something I'm so grateful to be a part of. This is really why I started the business to, like I said, inspire small business. That's why I'm over here. That's why we named it Inspire Small Business. Um, so yeah, it's been an incredible journey. I think we're one or two months away from uh, being five years in business, which is awesome. Uh, not many people can say they've been around for five years. So that's that's really cool. I'm really proud of that. It's been a few years since I updated this about video. So I thought it was really important to uh, just share with you like some of the progress and 
and where we've come sort of thing. And what I've really thought about lately is why I believe this one certain thing that hopefully will help you in your journey as well. So definitely growing up, like my mum, my sister and my niece Zoe have been a very big inspiration to me and really helped me become the person I am right now. And my pop, uh, Isaac Bates, he's actually um, the first Aboriginal man uh, to be uh, president of a bowling club, among other things. He was a finalist for Australian of the Year. And I really have thought about certain things he said to me growing up. And I honestly believe the things that he has told me has made me realize that I really do believe that if you put your mind to something, pretty much anything is possible. And there's been so many stories in my life where this has happened. So for example, I really wanted to be a Shopify expert and I really believed that I was going to be one. And after about a year, Shopify reached out and I've had many stories like this. And what I like to ask people when uh, I talk about this subject is like, what do you want to do? Um, what do you want to put your mind to? What are you going to put your mind to? Because if you put your mind to something and you're passionate about it and you really want it and you really can envision it and see it and go down the path, pretty much anything in this world is, is possible. And that's like some of the message I've been trying to get out with uh, Inspire Small Business is like anything's possible when you put your mind to it. And hopefully uh, some of my story um, has inspired you. I've been on quite a lot of podcasts now where I talk about, um, you know, really good things that you can do for e-commerce. So if you're really interested, I'll leave some links below to other podcasts I've been in uh, where it really deep dives into uh, my thoughts around um, like what really works in e-commerce and stuff like that. If you have a Shopify website or an e-commerce website, reach out and I can send you a free uh, website review, video review. We do them all the time. Gives you all the tips and stuff like suggestions and stuff like that. Um, more than happy to do that. Um, but yeah, I'll leave all the links. Um, let me know what you think. Um, what are you going to put your mind to? Let me know in the comments or wherever, wherever you're watching this or shoot me a message. I actually read a book once where the guy at the end, he said, oh, let me, like send me a message, uh, this certain thing. So he knows that I, you read the whole book and I actually sent him that message and it was like really cool experience. So I think it'd be a really cool experience if, if you watching this sent me a message or something saying what, what you're going to put your mind to. Uh, so yeah, if you're on YouTube, I'm going to have more tutorial videos. This is an updated version. So hopefully it's um, fresh when you're watching it and um, if it's, it's not like a few years old sort of thing. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you got something out of this. Um, I'll let you go now. Check out the podcast, send me a message, whatever you want to do. And like I said, um, anything's possible when you put your mind to it. What are you going to put your mind to? Catch up.